Welcome back to the Dev Marketer channel. In this series, we're talking about what is new in Laravel 5.5. Great new release, and we already talked about the Whoops error page. Now it's time to talk about another great little feature called front end presets. Now this feature is actually described, I'm gonna link all these links, by the way, down in the description, so you guys can take a look at them. I just wanna fly through some information real quick. But uh, Taylor Opel actually kind of talked about this in a Medium post, I'll have this link down below. And um, basically what front end presets are is this kind of takes out some of the forced opinionation that Laravel used to have. So you guys all know, you start Laravel, Laravel ha comes with Bootstrap built in, and it's sometimes a little bit of a pain to remove it. You actually saw this in um, when I was building the Dev Marketer website, and which is a story in and of itself. But anyway, you guys saw in that video that it um, it took quite a bit of work to try to clean up all the Bootstrap stuff that was put in there. If you don't want to use Bootstrap, and that was always something for me that was a little annoying with Laravel. I'm not a huge fan of Bootstrap. I mean, Bootstrap has its purpose, but for a lot of the production applications I'm using, I'm not a big fan of Bootstrap. I just think it's too heavy of a framework, and that's a whole. It's an opinion for another day that we can go into in another video. But um, I always thought it was just too opinionated. They shove that in there. They shove Vue in there. Now, granted, I love Vue.js, so I've never complained about that. But if you you weren't a fan of Vue and you wanted to use something like React or Angular, you had to deal with that as well. So there was always just this extra stuff that came in Laravel. But now with front end presets, we kind of solved that problem. And I'm really happy with the way this is implemented. This basically allows you to customize these front end presets to certain things that you like. So if you prefer React, you can switch Vue out for React. If you prefer um, foundation or Bulma over Bootstrap, you can switch those out. If you want a complete clean slate, you can actually clean it out too. It's really, really cool. And here, uh, Taylor talks about that. It basically comes down to some simple commands, which we're gonna run here in just a second, but it's these um, PHP Artisan preset commands, and you can do uh, Bootstrap out of the box. You have access to Bootstrap, you have access to React, and you have access to a clean slate, which is none. So let's go ahead and take a look at that in the browser and see how that works. I'll also link, by the way, the documentation for this if you want to check it out. Okay, so let's uh, just start. We'll open up our project real quick. And then inside of our project, what I want to do, let's go take a look at these kind of asset files that we have. So if you go to app.js, you can see here, out of the box, this is a fresh install, we have access to Laravel or to Vue. So Vue.js comes pre-bundled in here. There's even some um, like here components and we have an example.view. So a component structure has also been kind of created for us, but it's automatically gonna pull in Vue. If we go look at bootstrap.js, there's some other stuff that gets pulled in here. We have jQuery, Lodash, and um, we have some setup for Axios as well. Then if we take a look at SAS, you can see under our app.scss, we're pulling in a font API, and then we also pull in our um, Bootstrap SAS, so we have access to that as well. Okay, so we're pulling in Bootstrap, we're pulling in Vue.js. That's the way it's working right now. Now let's talk about changing that thanks to boots uh, to some presets. So obviously we already have the boot the Bootstrap and Vue comes out of the box. Let's say we want to switch it out for React. Let's go ahead and head over to the terminal, take a look at this, make sure again you're inside of your project. We'll run PHP Artisan preset and we'll call it React. All right, here we go. We uh, we run the React scaffolding. And then if we come over to our JS and take a look at app.js now, you can see that the view stuff went away. Inside of our components folder, which we had just looked at was a view project, now it's a React component. You can see it's importing React up here. And now we have access to React. Now let's say we don't want Bootstrap, we don't want anything, we want to start with a clean slate. This is how I think I'm going to start most of my projects now. That's why I'm super excited that it's available. Let's run a command to get rid of everything. So we're going to say PHP Artisan preset none. Let's go ahead, run that real quick. Front end scaffolding was removed entirely. And now you can see that this file doesn't exist anymore. And inside of our JavaScript, we actually ha don't have that components folder. Inside of our app.js, it's simply just the bootstrap file, which is not, don't be confused with bootstrap, the JavaScript for the bootstrap framework. This is like a, this is different. This is a bootstrap file, so called bootstrap, but it has nothing to do with necessarily with bootstrap. Um, here you can see it pulls in uh, Lodash, and then inside of our app.scss, it's actually a blank file. So we don't have the bootstrap, we just have that app.scss, we don't have that variables file anymore either. So it gives us a clean state to start with. This gives you an idea for what front end presets are. With this, you basically out of the box have access to um, a React preset, 
into you've got your bootstrap preset so if we wanted to run that again we'd bring bootstrap back and then you have access to your um, preset none which gets rid of everything which is how I think I'm gonna start most of my projects now now the one thing I do want to show you guys is there are other front-end presets that you can use to extend it so if you have a framework that you like there might be front-end presets for that just go ahead and search Laravel front-end presets with the, the framework you're working with there might be some out there there is someone a group that has created this Laravel front-end presets organization on github you can see we have access to foundation from Zurb you have Bulma UI kit and primer CSS so these are the the ones that they've already contributed and you can actually contribute your own as well so each of these are maintained by someone individually I'm gonna link all this down in the description but you can actually contribute your own and put it under this organization and this is gonna kind of be a, a group of all the presets that Laravel has so that might be something you want to do if you've got your favorite framework or you could use some of these that they've already created. So if you're already a fan of Bulma or Foundation or something like that, you can come in here. All you need to do is you're gonna pull it in as like a package, and then after that, you can run the preset to bring that in. So, um, and then it's pretty basic after that. You just run your NPM install, NPM dev, um, just to get everything compiled and stuff like that. So there you go. That's what it takes. That's front end presets. I'm actually really excited about this feature as well. It's something that just speeds up the development. It's going to, I can't tell you how many Laravel projects I go through and I have to clean up all the bootstrap stuff. Um, all the bootstrap SAS. I have to clean all that up, get rid of the files, um, change like when you run authentication, it's automatically set up for bootstrap. I'd rather just be plain HTML personally. So this, is I'm super excited about this. this is something I'm gonna use on every new project it's really really handy to have so I'll link all these down in the description be sure to check out maybe these front-end presets if you they don't the ones that you want are not pre bundled with Laravel you can get these other ones here and I'm sure this is going to expand and grow as uh, this feature goes on Laravel 5.5 has been out for like a week at the time that I'm filming this so this is only the beginning I'm sure there'll be a lot more of these as this uh, develops more and more Okay, so that's everything I've got for you guys in this video today. So the next video of our series, the third video out of 14, is gonna be talking about making factories. It's pretty easy, but I just wanna show you guys kinda of how it works. It's a pretty exciting thing that's just gonna make factories a little easier. I'll see you guys over there.